Oh my god, this is absolutely effing amazing. Now, this is a 1 8th power on the EFX 500, 1 8th power in manual mode. I'm able to test the output of any speed light, any strobe on Earth, and also do high speed sync calculations. For the first time ever, I'll be the first consumer on Earth to be able to check the output power of any speed light, any strobe with any camera ever, period. 1 5,350th of a second and 187, not milliseconds, but microseconds. So that would be 0.187 micro, I mean, 1.187 milliseconds, where this is 100 and uh, 187 uh, microseconds. Microseconds is <laughs> millionths of a second. That is how awesome. I mean, this is, oh my God, 187 millionths of a second calculation. Doesn't matter what you change your uh, ISO or uh, shutter speed to, um, uh, those are gonna remain constant. So now let me do another mode calculation. Okay, now I'm gonna change the power on my flash, which I've already done this. Of course, it'll be a lot shorter duration. Now I'm gonna go down to the lowest power setting on my speed light to one five hundred twelfth of a second. And I check my meter. Ah, 38 millionths out of, oh my God, isn't that amazing? One uh, 26 thousandth of a second. Um, this is a T1, actually this is a point T5 time, which is effective flash duration. I can actually also change this to T1 time, which is total flash duration, but this is effective flash duration where fall off reaches uh, 10%. That's, that is, oh my God, that's amazing. This is the ultimate tool for high-speed sync photography. This way, there will be no goddamn guesswork on flash duration. You see what people don't understand about the uh, speeds like, well, you know, what's the issue with uh, doing, see what's the short burst this is? Let me go back and actually hit the meter. I'll bring it up the power up to like, uh, let me bring the power up to um, a fourth of a, s a fourth power, which is quite powerful. Okay, let me step back here. Boom. See, that was a huge amount of light. It's 344 uh, microseconds. Uh, one uh, 2,900 of a second. Uh, what happens is, is that people don't realize, like on a leaf shutter or high-speed sync photography, high-speed sync is pulse light. This will also do pulse light. But for leaf shutter work also, what this will do is tell you how huge... The easiest analogy I've actually come up with to make people understand it is that people don't understand. It's like, well, I'm up to power on my speed light, but you know my exposures remain the same. It's like, well, yeah, it's because you have a keyhole of time set on your shutter speed on your camera, whether it's a leaf shutter or high speed sync, but you have a horse of light. Okay, this is a really, really easy way I've found to tell people without getting too complicated. It's like, oh my God, it's like, yeah, you're trying to pass, especially in high power or higher power, you're trying to pass a horse of light through a keyhole of shutter speed time on your camera. And this is the actual total duration. This is actually the profile of the flash release. I can actually profile any speed light, any strobe on earth ever made, period. Damn it. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Do you realize too, now this is one complicated sucker, even though there's only four buttons on it, a power button, a menu button, a memory button, and a measure button. Uh, yeah, the user manual on this thing is enormous. <laughs> so is, and even more enormous than that is the profiling software for each camera, so don't let uh, looks can uh, confuse you on this sucker. It is, uh, oh my god. It is touch screen. Did I mention it's touch screen? Did I mention it's touch screen? Did I mention it's touch screen? Only for mere $600 and you have to add another $130 for the radio transceiver modules. Oh my God. Oh. World's first device for flash output. Not only that, I can actually set it for T1 time or T5 time. And this is so incredibly useful for all high-speed sync photography. This is the most useful tool in the world now for high-speed sync flash photography. Or for people, actually I'm gonna use this as a training tool too for people to understand uh, flash duration and uh, stroboscopic work. Oh my God, yeah.